Crazy thing, man. I try to, anybody ever try to fix their life and end up messing it up even worse? <laughs> man, one time, I'll just be honest with you, I was trying to avoid somebody, I changed my cell phone number. Changed my cell phone, simple process. If one, how come it seemed like when you change your phone number and you get that new number, whoever had that number before you, they problems start becoming your damn problem. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I woke up one morning, the phone ringing off the hook, ringing, ringing, ringing. I just let it ring, go to the voicemail. Get the voicemail, I check it. When I check the voicemail, some dude on there talking about, bitch, answer the phone. <laughs> now, you know I got out of jail today, you supposed to be here to pick me up, bitch. Now, I got this phone on GPS family plan, I'm gonna find you, and I hope you are with it now, I'm gonna fuck him up too. So I, I, I put the phone down and started getting scared as hell because I watched First 48. I know that's how that bullshit started, you know? So I'm riding to my boy's house because I figure it's strength in numbers. This man ain't looking for me, you know what I'm saying? I ride over there and the phone ring again. I'm thinking it's the dude. I quickly answer. I'm trying to tell him, look, you got the wrong person, bro. I answer the phone. It's not him. It's some old lady from a middle school. She talking about some yeah, she yeah. I'm here at the middle school, and uh, we've had to get, uh, all the parents have come and picked their children up, and little James is the only kid still here, <laughs> and we would like for you to come pick your kid up. And I'm telling the lady on the phone, I'm like, ma'am, I don't got no kids that go to no school. She think I'm being a deadbeat daddy talking about young man, young man. <laughs> Will you please own up to your responsibility? <laughs> she done made... She done made me feel so bad as a black man. I didn't want to pick this lady kid up and shit. I get to school to pick him up. He don't even know where he stay. I'm, looking, I'm like, where you stay, man? He like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm riding around with him so long, I just took him to my house. Now I'm keeping this little motherfucker all weekend. <laughs> all of a sudden, man. Phone, phone rings again while I'm playing with the kids. Guess who the hell it is? Her ghetto ass called me talking about some, ooh, I heard my phone got cut back on. Anybody been calling me? I said, bitch, everybody been calling you. I was like, I got your kid. She was like, for real? I thought he was with his daddy. I'm finna, I'm finna come get him right now. Now, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I'm mad because I had to buy this kid's shoes. And, I, and you know, as a mother, I'm, I'm feeling like you a mom. You're supposed to know where your kid's at. So I'm at the house just waiting to tell her how kind of, all kind of unfit mother she is and shit. She ain't shit. I'm ready to tell her. Man, the door knock came. She opened the door. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. She was the finest woman I ever seen in my damn life. <laughs> y'all should have seen how quick my damn speech changed up. I was like, ma'am, you have such a well-behaved young man. <laughs> <laughs> I bought him some shoes. You can take them with you or you can leave them here. Just in case he wanna come stay another week here. <laughs> hey, y'all, my name's Cleo Sally, man. Thank you.